Hey guys, underwhelming tutorials. Welcome to the video series I like to call I got a 3D printer for cosplay and now what? Where I'll be going through most of the issues you'll be facing when you first get a 3D printer for the sake of cosplay. Today's topic is why won't my shit stick to the bed? Look, I get it. You spent the last two hours just leveling out the bed and you thought that just buying this machine would atomize items into existence. Because that's, that's why you're spending so much money in the first place. But instead, you're getting this like Play-Doh effect. You know, the things with the toys and it like comes out the hair, the hair when you're pushing it and it looks like that. You know, the, the Play-Doh. You thought that turning the bed really hot would be the solution so it, the plastic would melt onto the bed but the plastic is melting onto the bed but also it's still moving around and then and then you get in this silly string sort of things coming out but guys what if the solution is easier than you think the results will shock you so this happened to me and I went out and did some research and this is what worked for me, so it might work for you. So guys, do yourself a huge favor and get yourself these three items. Item number one, the most expensive scraper you can find at your local hardware store. The one that has the most sharpest end you can find. Item B, a spray-on adhesive. Grab the most expensive one of these as well. It will last you forever. And finally, item number three, the most expensive, low tack painter's tape you can find in your store that has the widest width. This will last you a lot of prints as well. These three items is gonna last you, I reckon more than a year, depending on how often you print. So what you're gonna wanna do is line the tape neatly onto the bed. Try and put the bits of tape as close as possible, avoiding as much overlap as you possibly can. And if you do get a little bit of overlap, it's not the end of the world. This will actually help avoid damaging your print bed. This will also help distribute the heat evenly on the plastic that you chose. And it'll stop the expansion contraction problem that you're gonna get. Step two is we're gonna put a light mist over this tape with the spray on adhesive. This will help the plastic stick onto the bed and it'll actually hold the supports upright when it's independent little pieces. So once your print is done, go ahead and use your high quality scraper to go and get under it. So I only replace the tape only when I damage it, otherwise it's pretty reusable. And also the parts that do get damaged, you can actually just peel out that one section and then line up the tape again. So you're not even like getting rid of the entire bed. And don't forget in between prints, you're just gonna have to do a little light mist again over the top of it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. It was a short one, but I think it is one of the most fundamental, important things that took me like three days straight trying to figure out. And I hope that this short amount of time will save you a couple of days. If you enjoyed the video or want to follow the series, show your support, definitely click the like button. And if you want to keep seeing more, press subscribe because otherwise I can't really tell if you're enjoying this or not. If you're lurking, that's fine, but I won't be able to make these videos knowing that there's an audience out there actually watching it. I've got a few different YouTube channels and this is how I decide which channels get videos more often. If you guys have time, check out my main channel, youtube.com slash It's a channel about cosplay and skits and just my, my usual upload channel. And that's it guys. So again, I hope it helped out and remember, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Pieces!